Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we're going to be doing some more Hunter Call of the Wild and due to popular request, uh, what we're going to be looking at today, and as soon as my mouse starts playing nice, okay, yeah, what we're going to be looking at today is how and where to aim when you're shooting at like a deer or a bear or whatever. So... If I can get it done just right, what we're going to do is we're going to try to take one of just about everything uh, species-wise here on uh, Silver Ridge Peaks. And I'm going to show you where to aim to hit stuff. Now, obviously, your you know final aim point is going to move just a little bit, depending on you know which, which gun you're using. Oh, we got a Rocky Mountain Elk. Uh, coming up over the hill, probably. Let's uh, get our call out. And if you want to just, you know, take a bit of advice, learn where the lungs are and hit a double lung shot every time. It's not as hard as it sounds. It's those... Uh, ordering shots like they're angled partially away from you at range that are hard to pull off there we go there's our friend okay so i would like to do some bow hunting with these guys but if that's the only one that comes over the hill we're just going to take a shot on that and i'm going to show you where where i shoot for that and that is not the only thing coming across. Let's uh, throw out another call, see if we can get them to come a little bit closer. And then prep our arrow and triple check to make sure we've got the right stuff loaded. 420 grain broadhead. Actually, let's, let's, let's triple check that. The 420 grain broadhead is 2 to 7. And if we spot one of these guys, which of course we can't do with the bow... Because they're too far. <laughs> uh, they are an eight. So, no, I did not have the right ammo loaded. And it is important to take care of that before they get close. Like this guy right in front of me. Already way too close. So, with the bow, I'm either going to aim right there on the neck for a spine shot. Uh, I could aim right between the knees and see if I can get a heart shot, or I can aim off to the side a little bit to see if I can get a lung shot. Now, if they're facing away, my only option, my only potential option is a lung shot from the side like that. So let's go for what I think is going to be a heart shot. Nope, I have missed the heart. And that's okay. It, it's still probably going to go down pretty quick. Yeah, it's running around, but it seems like the others are alert, but not really even spooked. Yeah, he's going down, but he's going down slow. So that was a that was a flesh shot. I hit too low is what happened right there. So let's see. How far are you? You are 79 meters away, and I don't ha I don't zero quite that far. So it turned sideways like that. That right there. If if it had actually hit. Thank, thanks for moving on me. <laughs> it would have been a double lung. But even running away, it is possible to get a single lung or like a, a spinal cord shot. The spinal cord shots do not always get the quick kill bonus, which is part of what we're going for. Uh, I would like for this guy to turn around so I can get another shot in. Or that one. That one would work. Calm, traveling, trivial. Ought to be able to call it back fairly easy. Okay. So let's get a range on that. You can either do the range finder at 172, or, seeing as I just spotted it, I can look for me and look for where I just spotted, 178, right there on the center of that, that spot location. 
and this one is stuck in that loop in that one spot. That's a very common spot for uh for elk to get stuck in. And I think I'm gonna wait till it slows down just a bit. Oh, almost, almost. I think I'm gonna just gonna. I think I'm just gonna take a snapshot. Oh, really? Really? You you finally break out of the loop, and you're running away. Okay. Well, we're gonna call you over. I don't know if calling it over is gonna do it, but it's definitely worth giving it a try. What is that? Is that just a bush? That is the top of a tree that I saw. Yeah, and they've decided they, they don't want any of this. So, seeing as they didn't come back over, I'm going to look for one that I shot, which very well may be this one. Got to look for that blood. Yep, there we go. Found the blood. And I'm, I'm not going to run, because there's still a small chance that they'll come back over the hill. And I think what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to uh, put up a screen grab of what it looked like when I let go of the arrow. Uh, you should be able to see the range and where I was aiming. And as soon as I get over here to the body, uh, we're going to take a look at where it hit and the anatomy of that elk. And we found it. It's sitting here in the bushes blinking. Let's uh, go ahead and confirm this trophy and see where I hit. Okay, so that that's not exactly where I thought I hit. I guess I was ranged a bit wrong. No, that's not right. That's definitely not where I was aiming. Uh, we'll, we'll be able to see here you know, in the uh, screenshot I throw up where I was aiming and be able to verify that. But I, I very, I very strongly believe that that is not where I was aiming. Uh, but anyway, uh, important things to, to note, because I think we haven't gone over those before. Um, art down here in the very bottom next to the knees. So if you look at the, uh, at the elk itself, you see where the knees are? You can even see that from range, like right here, the knees. So you should be able to get right there on those knees and take it out with a heart shot. Now the lungs, they take up this whole section. They go from shoulder back. So if you miss the shoulder and you, you are a little bit more toward the center of the animal, you'll be able to get that double lung shot. Uh, even at a uh, far out angle, it's hard to see, but the edge of the lung comes almost all the way to the edge of the body. So you should be able to get a lung shot even if it's quartering away. Uh, other good shots to take note of, that liver that is located directly behind the lungs, that's also a really good spot to hit. They'll go down real fast. Um, you'll notice in what it's showing the shot for me, uh, that I hit the thoracic vertebra, but I did not hit the spinal cord. The spinal cord in almost all instances is going to be an instant drop. And it's that little bit lighter highlighted zone going up the, uh, the spine. Uh, let's see other important things on this screen. Uh, we've got the trophy rating, which I knew was going to be none. Uh, the harvest check, which is definitely a huge portion of what kind of money you make off of this. Uh, proper an ammo, animal shot two times or less, intact trophy organs. Pay attention to what the trophy organs are. Uh, and then hitting a vital organ. So quick kill is also something that plays into that. If you look down here under the XP... Um, you've got the quick kill bonus, the harvest check. The harvest check is this up here. Um, the consecutive harvest bonus, uh, I don't know why that's zero for me, because I, I pick up basically everything. 
That's if you shot something and did not harvest it. You didn't hit the um, screen like we're at right now. And then the species difficulty. Can't really do anything about that, but you, you, you got some influence over just about everything else, even if it is just picking out what you take a shot at. Um, but yeah, definitely take a look at the internals after you get a good shot and see how you can adjust that. And uh, we'll, we'll, we'll try to move on to a different species and see what we can do with that. I think there may be something different up the hill here. Uh, honestly, if you shot, if you shot one deer, it, it's like shooting all the others. It's really no different. Um, realistically, the, uh, the buffalo and the bison are, are also basically the same. There's, there's almost no difference as far as anatomy goes. Um, the thing to note on the buffalo is that, that hump on their back. Oh, hello. Here's something to shoot. It's a pronghorn. Ah, good proper long distance shot is what that would be. Okay. We were talking about the buffalo and the hump. Uh, if, if you practice enough you can take out the spine even with something like the seven millimeter that doesn't go up to a uh, class nine like a buffalo and you can drop it in one shot so let's take a look here we've got a pronghorn it is nervous it's a level three it's a class four and trophy rating 66 to 80. Uh, let's go ahead and range out to 300 because if I remember right, looking at the uh, the distance, it was close to 250. And if I use my map to find the distance, yes, it is right at 250. So depending on the rifle and the round, it may go a little bit higher or a little bit lower. The, it, the trajectory may be flatter. The seven millimeter is pretty darn flat until you're over 300 meters. So I don't really have to worry about that all that much. So let's take a look. A shot, if it hit right there between the knees, would be a heart. Uh, the easiest one for me to take from here is going to be attempting to get a double lung. And because it's uh, at a quarter away from me, I'm going to have to aim farther back to my right to be able to hit that. Now, this one would be easy. I just shoot right there and bam, I've got a double lung shot and should drop in his tracks. But we're not here for the easy stuff. So let's, uh, let's hold our breath and see if we can get ourselves a double lung. And there we go, we've got a double lung. Uh, with these pronghorn, if you've got a big round like the seven millimeter, it just, it drops them in their tracks if you get a double lung. Uh, I will once again get up to the animal and try to um, grab a screenshot of where I was, where the actual shot went went across, so you can see where exactly I was aiming and where it actually went. But uh, yeah, okay. And we have found our pronghorn. It is exactly where we expected. Uh, look at the report: flesh, left lung, right lung, double lung, just like I expected. So taking a look at these pronghorns, I've noticed that uh, with with archery, it is incredibly easy to get their spinal cord just because they're like in their neck, dropping them just bam. It is really easy. If I've got the shot to take it on the neck, I usually take it with the, uh, with the bow, but let's take a look at the shot that we got. Okay, so this one does show up properly. So looking at the angle that the shot came in from, which should be about where we were looking, about where we were aiming, we did go a little bit farther back than the shoulder, so we missed the shoulder, got good penetration, went through both lungs. No problem, dropped him right there. And it's worth noting that the heart is a little bit farther back on these pronghorn. Um, once again, I would like to say definitely, if you get a shot on something, you finally get it. Uh, Take a look at where vital organs are, like that heart and the liver. Go ahead and accept that because I think we've got something like right on us. Oh, we got another Rocky Mountain elk. Ah, uh, you know what? Let's see if we can call it before it gets spooked.
Uh, let's get into this tree. Pretty please. Please. Okay, our visibility has gone down appropriately. And we are just absolutely surrounded by these elk. So, how far are you, my friend? You are 35. Uh, let's, let's throw out another call. I'm pretty sure our last call has not expired. But that may get them interested in us again. They're looking around for other elk is what's going on. So you were 35 before, you're 35 now. Oh, hello, my friend. Dropped it dead in his tracks. And if the other one hadn't been quite so close, it would not have panicked like that, and we may have gotten an additional shot. And I've mentioned this before, you can sometimes uh, fuzz their AI by calling repeatedly. But while we wait for them to come back, uh, we're going to take a look at this trophy. That's exactly where I thought I was aiming. Got straight through the neck. Uh, it is worth noting that if you do miss the spinal cord, uh, in the neck, it doesn't really seem to matter. Uh, but you don't get a vital organ if you don't hit the, um, the, the spinal cord further down the line. So the neck is the only place I know of that I can hit it in a, just the vertebra and drop it immediately. And you can see our scores are coming back up as we get that consecutive harvest bonus. Okay, what are you? What are you? And our, oh, our elk are coming back. So I'm going to spend another minute over here and work on my archery. Um, and that was, that was not how you work on your archery. That was, that was a pushing a button and a thing didn't happen. And, and then an arrow went somewhere you didn't want it to go. Okay, so we, we know that other one is probably coming our way. Yeah, it's definitely still coming our way. At least I think that is. Yeah, they're, they're somewhat interested. I think that uh, random flashy arrow just threw them a little bit. I'd like for those pronghorns to come back because I would love to take a bow shot on a pronghorn, but I've got the wrong ammo selected for that at the moment. So, let's see, right now they are 67 meters away. We'll let them get a little bit closer, and I will take a shot on a different part to show you how quick they go down. Now, especially on these elk, uh, I don't believe a double lung shot will drop them immediately. Uh, I think they still get a little bit of running before uh, they, they drop from a double lung. So, yes, like those pronghorns... Um, I was shooting a four to, I think, eight round, uh, or a round that is good for size classes, four to eight, since they're at the very bottom of that and they're already small creatures anyway, then what spooked them? Oh, seriously, what spooked them? Is there a bear or something over here? Bear don't normally do that to them, though. What are you? Oh, a plains bison. Yes, that will do nicely. So I have brought out my 300 canning uh, magnum specifically for plains bison, if I can spot one. Where the heck are you, bud? Oh, hey, a bear. Bear is alerted and running away. So let's see. That's going to be further back than I had hoped, which is okay, because I'm going to follow up, and we'll take a look at where both of those went. And that should be a good shot right there. That's probably a double lung. Oh, that may have been a heart. It's unlikely, but possible. And that is such a pretty color. Okay, uh, lung, liver, and stomach. 
Okay, so important to note on the bear, uh, double lung is a little bit farther forward than on those other herbivores we've been shooting at. And the heart is farther forward. So if they're walking along, it's going to be uh, at the front of their shoulder, or actually between their shoulders. Um, if the bear is standing, if I can get this to turn just right. Uh, come on. There we go. So if a bear rears up on its hind legs, you look at the shoulders, and I know it's very hard to see, so I'll keep keep fudging it a little bit. Uh, but yeah, there's there's the heart. If it's standing on its back legs, it should be dead between those shoulders and kind of forward. So if it's standing up sideways to you, you want to get right there on that edge. And if it's standing up uh, head on, you just want to hit the uh, bottom between the two shoulders in the front. And you should be able to get your heart shot there. So let's take a look at that bear that we found that was running away. There's more pronghorns. So we could take one of those, but... and. Honestly, if I was if I was running solo and I wasn't trying to get this bear, that's what we would be doing. We I, I would be going after those pronghorns. But I really want to show off where that hit on both of those shots. Uh, I don't know what exactly the bullet travel time is, but bullets do have travel time. Let's see, is that bear? That is bear. That looks like blood. It is blood. Okay, so I'm, I'm still locked onto the right bear. Oh yeah, and those those flashy grass things are really handy. They uh, let you find a need zone without actually having to have any animals there. That's probably one of those pronghorn need zones. And we have found our bear friend. Let's go see what we did to him. So, another random important note. Uh, if you are tracing something or tracking something that is in a herd, unlike this one, but if it's in a herd, they all basically run the same direction. So if you start losing tracks due to overlapping tracks, you can usually just keep following till you find more blood and call it good. Okay, that's that's interesting because that's not where I thought that went. But it was it was definitely because I was zeroed out at three hundred and it was probably two hundred away at max. Uh, actually, does it does it say how far away it was? Uh oh, one thirty seven. Yeah, it was 137 meters away, and I was zeroed out to 300, which would account for the rise between where I was hoping to hit in the lungs and it hitting the thoracic vertebra. Apparently, I did not need to take a shot the second time, and you saw it running. And when I took the shot, it was about, you know, the front side here, if I'm remembering correctly. I'll, I'll throw up a, a, a picture of that, and we'll see where that went. Uh, but I hit much, much, much further back. And let's see. What else do we have on this map? We have turkeys, which it really does not in any way matter where you hit those. I have had them go down from shooting a feather. So not, not too worried about those. So what I would like to find now is that buffalo, because I think we've just got buffalo, pronghorn, bear, moose, elk. Do we have moose? I don't think we've got moose. We may have moose. And then elk. So we will check another place. The uh, Plains Bison Outpost. Yes, Plains Bison Outpost has got plains and bison. <laughs> No eyes on anything yet. I'd hate to call it quits without getting at least a bison. 
But uh, over in the Discord, I like to plug all the time. Uh, I'm going to see about posting shots of internals as I get them. If you're interested in that. And let me know if you're interested in that. All you got to do is go to the Discord and say, hey, one's not. We, we really want to see the internals so we know where to shoot. Um, actually, in hindsight, I should probably be putting that in the wiki. Because that is something that I think would be useful. And I don't know that it's on there. It's got basically everything else, though, so it wouldn't surprise me if it was there. But yeah, no bison. If I come across another one soon, uh, I will go ahead and tack that on to the end here. But uh, I think uh, I, I think that's that's all the stuff I'm going to shoot in today's episode, unless something just pops up at me at the last second. Okay, I said it wasn't worth covering, but I think we're going to try to get a turkey. There we go, got a turkey. Uh, I was actually still running over to the uh, the lake over here. This lake is also another good hot spot, as noted by the hunting structure. Uh, but yeah, I was saying the turkeys were not worth showing off because literally any shot anywhere would uh, take them out. Uh, but the opportunity presented itself, so here we are with the turkey. Nice big old splotch and second splotch. So I, I did, I think I hit it twice. <laughs> hey, it is a gold turkey. Got two different shots in. Neither of them show that they did any damage. But okay, uh, you can see the internals. There's the heart right next to the uh, both of the lungs. Uh, if you want to get fancy with taking shots on the turkeys, feel free, uh, but I really just use the uh, 22 and run and gun, and that is good enough for me. Hey, guess what? Just south of the Plains Bison, uh, what you call it, outpost, I found a Plains Bison. So I finally get an opportunity to use my uh, 300, and it was about 150 away. I have found a lot of good luck taking their their spine in a head-on shot as they as they lower it. Uh, but let's see, we want to get ourselves a double lung, and this one's going to be hard due to the angle. But we're going to take that right there and hope that that did the duty or did 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 the job. Oh yeah, that that's not looking great. Twenty-five to fifty. On the health, thank you, perks, 0 to 25. And you should stop running. There you go, you're down. So I mentioned this in a previous episode, but the last place you spotted a creature is where it shows up on your map as a previously spotted animal. So we'll see how close that pin is to the, to the body because we were spotting it all the way till it went down, down. Okay, we've arrived at the marker, and uh, the, the bodies do occasionally slide a bit. And there's another turkey we could take if we really wanted. Uh, but yeah, we're, we're, we're two meters from the marker, the marker being ever so slightly in the air. But anyway, uh, the bodies do occasionally slide a little bit, which I think is what happened here. But there it is. The, the last spotted location was good enough to get me within range of the body of this bison. Let's confirm that trophy. Okay, uh, so we got a single lung, but we passed all of the checks, and we got decent everything else. Okay, so let's, let's stop this guy from spinning and take a look at where that actually went in. So looking at the angle we took it, uh, if it had continued to penetrate, it looks like it would have gotten a liver and or stomach. It would not have gotten that second lung. Uh, I would have had to been a good bit lower, which you saw was actually pretty tough to figure out. But right about where my mouse is now is where I would have had to hit to hit the heart. Or a little bit further left. But that's that is a lot of flesh to go through, and I don't... I don't remember off the top of my head how much penetration my weapon does. 
but it's not enough. I don't think that's, yeah, it stopped before it would have hit the heart. So my only option here was either that spine shot or the lung. And it wasn't at an angle for, for me to get a double lung. It's just there was a lot of flesh to go through to be able to get to that lung. So that was the only shot I could take. Anyways, uh, just going to make this note again. The heart is right between the knees. So if you're relatively close, that's a pretty easy shot. If you can figure out where it is. So you can see... Right there where my mouse is should be right over the heart with it still having all of its fur on it instead of the x-ray view. Yeah, right there. So next time you go hunting, shoot for the lungs or shoot for the heart. Or ideally shoot for both. Well, it looks like that's going to do it for us today, guys. I wanted to say thank you for hanging around this long. If you did and you haven't already hit subscribe, please do. Uh, just so you don't miss out on any of the other cool stuff coming on down the road. If you'd like to hang out with us, please hit us up on Discord. Link is in the About section on the channel, or you can go to discord.onesnot.com, and I will see you guys in the next one.